Hey guys, this is Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com and this is uh, another video in the book binding for the Home Shop series. Uh, this will probably be the last one unless uh, I need to create some videos for clarification or if there's a real interest. Uh, for example, uh, how to sew up signatures and things like that. So uh, I realize this is not shop related and uh, so I don't want to um, beat the point to death. Also, I want to apologize. I actually meant to get this video out last week, uh, but had a bit of an emergency in the family. My wife was admitted to the hospital. Uh, she's home now. I uh, spent about a week there. She's doing good. And uh, for those of you that I communicated with, thank you so much for the prayers and well wishes and, and everything else. I, it's, it's very much appreciated. Okay, so in this, uh, we're going to do multiple steps here. We're going to create our text block, right? And uh, it's going to be slightly different uh, than the text blocks that we created for the uh, uh, softbound or paper covered book. We're going to um, measure it when we're done and we're going to cut the boards and glue the boards to our book cloth and then set the book uh, in. Hopefully I can get all that in one video. I'll just have to see how long uh, this takes. So one thing that I do want to mention as an addendum to the last video, remember I, I put my um, paperback cover on there and, and stitched it all and glued it all up. And while that didn't really work out too well for me, um, and if you watched very close when I cut these boards off, you would have noticed that I, I cut one of the papers. Now it didn't really matter, right? Because it was getting the cloth around it. But So what I've done here is I've added two sheets of paper, okay, to... Um, each side of my manuscript, my book, right, and uh, I've marked the marked the uh, spine of the book at the head end, so I know what's what. And we're going to do this one exactly like uh, the other one, uh, all the way up into gluing the mole uh, and everything. And then I'm going to bring you back in. So I'm going to stop there. You know what's going on from here, and. Um, and again, the only difference is, is that instead of, you know, there's no cover or nothing, even if you were doing a paperback uh, book, don't, don't put the cover on. Um, put a couple pieces of waste paper on both sides of the book. So when we take these boards off, um, if we damage the sheet, it doesn't matter because we're going to tear a couple off anyway. So let me get to that point and I'll bring you right back in. Okay, so we've allowed this to dry. And this is exactly the same method as we used in the... Uh, last book uh, book binding video so if you're not familiar with what I've done here go back and take a look at that one and clear it right up the only exception was that I added a couple sheets of waste paper to each side of the book so now we're gonna do exactly the same thing that we've done before we're gonna grab our knife and hopefully this shows up okay and uh, we're gonna poke the knife through here into the back Hopefully my head's not in the way. All right. And cut this off. Maybe if I can get the knife through there. I don't know what I've done with the handle to this knife, but... I've misplaced it. All right. Remember, we're just going to lift this up a little bit and turn to try to twist the blade up toward the thing as we slice through and cut the backboards off. And I know this is probably dangerous doing this without a, a handle, but you know, like they always say, my parents always said, do as I say, not as I do. So. All right, so we got that side off, not too much damage, and we're going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so both boards are off. Now, if you were uh, paying attention to the last video, um, you would have noticed that I cut some of my waste paper, right? But it doesn't matter. I'm just going to take the top sheet or the top two sheets remember I put two on each side and if I cut into it like see like I did on this one here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tear it right off right and see there's a there's a good sheet there I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the other side I'm gonna tear either one or both sheets off this one's actually pretty good but we're gonna take it off anyway all right just like that and we're just gonna take our bone folder and push that over Okay. 
Okay, now that um, we've got these boards trimmed off and we've tore off our excess paper, uh, so now here we're going to diverge a little bit, okay? In a normal hardbound book, uh, it has what's called end papers, right? The end papers I'm going to use for this book, you can typically use colored end papers or something like that, but then again, this is just a shop book. And if you're doing something special, I would, I would do more. And there are some uh, YouTube channels that go into great detail about how to do this stuff. So for end papers, uh, since my book is printed out on 8.5 by 11, I'm going to make my end papers out of um, 11 by 17. Now, you can actually use larger paper and trim them off, but this I so happen to have. And really all we're going to do here is fold these in half, being careful to get them centered, or you know, even. And we'll take our bone folder and, and fold this down, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do both of those. Okay, that's gonna serve as one end paper. And you see that we got it pretty even. Um, actually, I'll probably just fold another couple, but I'm gonna fold, I'm gonna fold uh, a pair of these 11 by 17 papers over so that they're nice and even, and I'll bring you right back in. Okay, so I have my end papers fold up, folded up. Like I said, these are just eight and a half by 11. I mean, I'm sorry. 11 by 17 papers folded in half, okay? I've got two of them. Now what we want to do is tip these on to the book, okay? And how we're going to do that is um, we're going to uh, take a piece of waste paper here and lay it out. And what I'm going to do is, hopefully that shows up in frame, we'll lay this end paper down the creases here there's the next end paper the creases facing the same way and I'm gonna overlap this so there, there's about a quarter inch of the bottom paper showing and then I'm gonna lay another piece of waste paper on top so that a quarter inch of the other one is showing so I have a quarter inch of this one showing a quarter inch of this showing the end paper and then scrap paper on both sides. So now, we'll get our PVA glue. And let's, we'll lay some glue on here. All right, so I'm always brushing away uh, from any fold or crease so that we don't drive any glue up under the paper. Hopefully that's Coming in okay. And like I said, I'm just going to spread some glue on our fly leaves, just like that. Okay, we'll set that off to the side. Now we're going to take our book, and again, I hope this shows up. Let's take off this piece of waste. Lay it off to the side where it won't get into anything. And we'll take our first fly leaf. Set our book over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip this on. I'm going to lay this glue, edge that we glued, lining it up with the book as close as I can on the spine. glue that down and I'm just pressing gently just like that. We'll take the bone folder and we'll work that down onto there. Okay, we're going to turn this over. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We have our tipped or glued uh, end papers here. And I'm just going to, this is called tipping on, by the way. And if you recall, when I kind of goofed up in the last video on the softbound, this is exactly what i done for the covers. Uh, so, um, at this point, if you're going to do a softbound, go ahead and tip your cover papers on then. And again, I'm just going to take our folder and 
lay it down like this. Okay. Now you could nip this at this point if you want to. Okay, now that we have the um, the fly leaves glued down, the next thing we want to do is we want to reinforce the backing a little more. And we're going to do that by adding some more mull and then a double layer of paper backing. So this piece of mull that I've cut, eh, it falls about an inch short from either end and it allows about an inch and a half to overlap on each, uh, on each side of the book. So let's add some glue to the binding here. like so and I hope I have this in frame okay so we're gonna take the mole and place that on there leave it about an inch at either end and roughly in the middle and I'm just gonna push that on there so, work it down with the bone folder, just like so. Alright, now we're going to give it a couple layers of paper. And what I use is um, just cardstock here, and uh, it's uh, the same length as the book, it's uh, 8 half by 11 cardstock. And we're going to do a double layer of this. So let's go ahead and some more glue. And I realize I'm kind of rushing through this, uh, folks. I just, you know, I don't want you to have to spend a long time watching this. And you can always go back and, and look. So, all right. So I'm filling in the pores and I'm covering the whole spine with glue. I'm filling in the pores of the mole. Okay. Just like so. Tell you what, before I get carried away, let's, let's, let's fold this mull over. Turn this like so. Alright. Let's finish gluing it up here. Remember, we just want to get a good coating on the spine and fill all the holes in the mull. Now we're going to take our cardstock and we're going to line it up evenly with the head and the tail right on the edge of the book, edge of the spine, like so. And press that on, just like that. Alright, then we're going to take our bone folder and really work that down so it sticks. Turn this over. I'm going to run my bone folder on there so I start a crease on this piece of cardstock that I got going back here. Alright, and then finally we're going to coat the spine with another layer of glue. Just like that. And we're going to fold this paper over. And glue it on itself. And probably should let it tack up. You see I got a little antsy there and pulled away. But I can set it back down. On the spine just like that. Alright I'm going to turn this over again. Again, I'm going to work this down 
with my bone folder onto the spine. Increase that there. All right. So now I'm going to let that thoroughly dry, and when it's dry, I'm just going to cut the excess paper off and uh, bring you back in.